Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us. So, we did a blindfold challenge um, oh, months ago. Yeah. And Sean really enjoyed painting. You guys really enjoyed watching him. So, what we decided to do is we're going to paint together again today. Excluding the blindfold. But, we're going to do the A to Z challenge. So, what that means is I've basically written some things from A to Z. And it's basically a lucky dip. So we're going to pick a couple of these and that's going to determine what, what we're going to be painting. Yeah, and it's going to steer us in that direction. So I'm going to try to be less bossy this time. I'm not... Try being the word. <laughs> Probably won't happen, but try. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm not going to... <laughs> in fact, in nature. I'm not going to promise anything because if I promise, I might break <laughs> that because you know what a control freak I am. Anyway, what? I know... But no. <laughs> I'm gonna let you pick Ooh. the first one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, just I am one. privileged. <laughs> okay, so go for it. Can I have a drum roll? Yeah, yeah, drum roll. Right, okay. Pick a good one. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, Ooh, two. Do you know? See, this this is what it's meant this to is be. the kind of thing that I live with. He's got to pick two. <laughs> oh, earth, earth. Okay. Hmm. And what's this one? Earth and water. water. Oh, we've got the elements. Wow. Okay. Mm, earth right. And water. I think pick at least another one. Yeah. I don't know what that one. Oh. What have we got with this one? We have got iridescent. Oh, iridescent colours. I am absolutely in love with, especially the gold and the silver. Definitely. So, well, I'm quite not that I'm going to kind of dictate what colours. We're yeah. Gonna yeah. Use. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so shall we pick a fourth one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's push the boat out. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, if I can open it, this one doesn't want to open. Oh, oh, open cup. Open cup. Oh, right. Right. Okay. okay, so we've got water, we've got earth, we've got iridescent, and we've got open cup. So let's see what we can create. Yeah. Okay, so we've chosen our colours and we're just mixing them up. And because one of our elements was water, we've decided to just mix our paint with water. So, Sean, how's it going? I'm enjoying it so far. I'm learning a lot. It's, it's funny how when you first look at it, you think, yeah, just pour the water. But it's, it's all about the right amount, the right texture. So, and it's funny just watching you, how you know. And, it's, and how, how's your teacher? <laughs> very good actually yeah very patient which i didn't think i'd hear you let's say. go let's look at the consistency yeah so you're just mixing with paint and water good okay and we're using a 20 by 20 inch canvas and i'm going to ask sean shortly just to paint the sides before we start okay so i've asked sean to paint the sides uh, before we start it's just something that i really like to do and obviously I've given him step by step by step instructions. <laughs> it's actually quite therapeutic. And that's one of the reasons I first got into all the fluid out, wasn't it? And it was yeah, like a decompress from a stressful job. So Are you having fun, Sean? I am actually. And I'm quite excited to see how it turns out. Good. Good. Okay, so you're gonna paint the sides. I'm just going to do a bit of a drip test on the colours. We've actually added some black and some gold, some iridescent gold. So yeah, I'm excited too. Right, let's get some of the base on. So let's go aim for the middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's about it. And then what I would do is if I were you, I'd just pick it up and just kind of tilt it a little bit just spread that paint out so do it in a circular motion that's it I feel like I'm playing like some kind of game with mind you don't get all your paint oh, on yeah. like a mate where you have like a ball in a maze yeah okay that'd be okay okay pop that on you'll see that you've got some air bubbles there no oh, are we gonna set fire to them well <laughs> I'll do this because 
You've not had your training. Yeah, um, we'll probably end up needing five again. Okay. Okay. So, cookie cutter or open cup? Yeah. About there. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your colours. Yeah. Drizzle them in on top of each other. Okay. And then I would say when you're about halfway up, just lift it up slowly okay. in that kind of motion and you'll see. All the colours come out. Ah, oh, right, okay. Fingers crossed. Okay. Go. Right, so you're going to just pick it up very slightly and then down again. Did you want me to do it or shall I trust you? You to can do trust it? me. Right, well, here we've got three. So up and down. So just. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So you just. That's it. That's it, it's released. So, Let slowly go. lift it up because you're going to have air trapped at the bottom. Okay. So, you slowly lift it up and it's, the ring will pop like that. Okay, so put that on there. So, you'll see that you've got some colour yeah. all in the middle. So, when you stretch out, you're going to get all that colour. So, what some people do is they might just almost kind of fill in, fill in that middle. Yeah, I, just... I would... Do it in a circular motion to begin with. Get a feel for the paint. That's it. See what I mean? Just slowly. Don't rush. Work it round. Work it, work it on it. Right. Okay, then stop. Oh. Is what I need to do. Yeah. Put that down. Put some more base. Coat I'm there. starting to see some like cells come through. What would happen if you kind of dragged right from the edge into the middle? What do you mean? You know, like when you were doing the swirls before, if you brought in with that kind of... If you want to do that. So you've got a lot of... Mm. That middle bit's actually quite nice. So can you see how wait so can you see where you've got all your paint? Yeah. So what you want to decide is because you've still got enough paint on there to push this off so you don't have any of this. And then you're stretching out this area. Or if you'd like this bit, leave that in and look at your composition. Okay. Um... So if you say take that edge off first and then back again. You can see what it looks like. Do you want me to do the first one? Yeah, just see and what And then it you is. can see. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
if you took say this edge off first and don't forget you can always have negative space don't feel scared of leaving I do like a bit of negative space it's negative space so do you see what I mean yeah. so do you want to take this edge off next and get rid of some of that that there yeah, yeah, I can do. Do you want me to do it or do you yeah, want to you do, do it? Yeah, you do it, you do it. It's up to you. No, you do it. Carry on kind of playing with it or do you want me to tilt or? Uh, if you... I don't quite know actually. Okay, so there. Yeah, I like that. If I take that, if I take oh, the, some fact, more of that off. If you're bringing it more down a bit, because yeah. it's bringing some of that in there. So shall I take some more of this off? Yeah. Because I, can't, I like some of the definition which it's creating. God, the guys can't see this. Okay, so let's not be too scared to just kind of step back and, and have a look. Um, I like some of this detail here. I do. I'm not sure about this bit. No? I almost feel like this bit needs something that's a little bit flat. Is there too much in there? It needs a bit of a different colour. What about if we were to like drizzle? So can you drizzle follow through it? Or? If you want. So you know, if you think this is too blocky, yeah, you can always put some paint on there and kind of just go freestyle and you know it's paint. Let's have a bit of fun. So like maybe the gold and the bronze, or or maybe the silver. Yeah. Or, well, what do you think? Maybe the bronze to kind of bring. Do we want to stretch any of this out over there? stretch any of that out that's a clump of paint here yeah there is actually yeah we can do should i try it why not mind your top oh, it doesn't matter. so if i kind of yeah okay is it moving yep only a little bit I'm dragging all that back out all oh, right Oh yeah. I actually really really like it. Okay, why don't we put it back on the stand? Move it here. Did you want to do anything with this? Yeah, I do. I definitely want to do something with this. Um It's too blue. Too blue? Yeah, I do like blue and I do like a lot of blue, but I almost feel there's I lo I love this bit the way it's coming in. Okay. I just think it needs something how about let's how about we work it up a little bit how about we layer some of these colors yeah and then with some of the magic flow troll create some cells do or swipe. swipe oh i like that you're very yeah, great we yeah. do it? right so what do we do so we're not going to want too much because obviously there's paint under this yeah yeah but if I were you, I would just, if I can just do a couple first. Yeah. Maybe just a couple of lines like this. Not a huge amount. Yeah. Yeah. With whatever colours you want. And almost like, just layer it next to each other. So, I don't know. Okay, silver next, so it's yeah. next to... So we're almost like, like that. Yep, yeah, all the way along. Use a little bit more. Get the... Paint around there. Oh, the fuck of that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I do like that. So, we get a little bit more. What? And then what I'll do? I love I'm, that. I maybe swipe this way. So, now you've seen that, the other thing that you could do is you could just get some of the black flow troll on the bottom of your 
a palette knife and just do some random swipes. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. And then what we do is we stretch it out a little bit more. What I really like is there's so many layers to this. See, what I think is really clever is you're really creative in your mind about how you can kind of add things to it, change things. It's just kind of... And that's what I do like. If you don't like something, you can change it. And, you know, Molly from Molly's Art Artistry always says, it's just paint. Yeah, it's so fun. I do like, there's a lot of it I do like. There's just little, it's almost like I had an idea in my mind, and it's, but it's very hard to get that out. Yeah. And it, it's funny with, like, when you've had commissions and you're trying to explain with colours and techniques how it will turn out I think people don't always they, I think they just think it can just automatically come out on the canvas yeah so at this point you can either scrape a canvas and start again which I'm not always a huge fan of or we could maybe blow up a balloon and do oh. some balloon dips and almost kind of break that up yeah so do you know what I'm loving? Balloon There's so time. many different techniques where we only started out doing one. I know. <laughs> Broke some of the harshness up with the, the balloon dips. So, just as an example, we'll just get one of these ready. What you can do is just... Oh, yes. You're just breaking it up. That's quite a harsh edge. That's quite a harsh. See what I'm doing? It's a nice effect that it creates. It's like then, jellyfish. And all you're doing, don't you know? You can do as many as you like. Oh, I'm gonna now wipe. Do as many as you like. But what you might decide is okay. So that's quite a harsh line yeah. there. So why don't we just break some of that up as we go across and almost get rid of that? That's a lot better. Get rid of that harsh line. Okay. So I think already it's looking, better. it's looking a bit better. What bit else do you want to kind of break up? Do you want to break it, up? It's that bit there. That bit there? Yeah. Are you happy with colours at the top? Because you can always add more colour to then break it up basically yeah because I think it, it's a little bit dull at the top but I wonder whether that could almost reflect weather you know on the you know we've it got does earth. look like weather it does got earth. you know that could be the storm that's coming in you know what I do like is that you're almost creating this almost wave here yeah and then... so I quite like that yeah but I think it's again a bit of a harsh line yeah how about if we kind of go around in a bit of a, yeah. a loop? Ooh. <sighs> Nearly lost the balloon then. And just make it a bit softer. Just a bit softer. And all you're doing is you're just looking at the composition breaking it up a little bit you know you don't have to go overboard with it but you can just break it up if you 
you want to put a couple of it in here? Um, I think keep or that. keep that as it is. Then keep that as it is. But down this edge, do you want any down that edge or just leave that as I'll it is? I'll leave that because we've got like the wavy bit and it, it's quite nice actually. Okay. Um, I do think there's some nice kind of touches to it. So they're almost like flowers. Yeah. I really like it. It is nice. Any more? Do you want a couple here? Um, or leave it as it is? Maybe just try one there, see what it's like. Do you want to try it? Yes. So yes. just literally dab and pull up. Dab. So not not kind of too... Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. And then wipe. This could almost be like snowy mountains. Mm. Or daisies. I really like this. Yeah. So, you know, you start off with an open carp and... Okay, so let's go in for a close-up. And as you can already see, we started off with an open cup. And it didn't go according to plan. And do you know what? That is totally, totally okay. And you can see that what we did is we added some swipes. We got the balloon out. We blew up a balloon and did some balloon dips. And some of those details, wow, guys, look at that detail just there. And it's almost like, um, so, so, you know, go back to what we had. We had Earth as an example. And how many times, wherever you live in the world, have you almost had loads of seasons in one? Here we've almost got quite a tranquil kind of snowy mountain effect. And then we go into the luscious kind of humid rainforest and warm ocean effect here. And almost like with the darker blues, that reminds me of the colder seas. And then over here, you've almost got like a, a blast of, I don't know, wind and ocean. You know, it's, it's a real earthy effect and i'm really proud of what sean and i have created today okay so we got messy so you know it's win-win we've had some fun sean i do feel is a little bit disheartened because he had an image in his head and he thought that a certain technique was going to work just first time of trying it and what i said to him was you know, we opted to just use paint and water. This is the first time that we did an open cup with just using paint and water. I've done Dutch pours before. But what we've done is we've stepped back and paused, had a look at the creation, and, okay, it wasn't necessarily what you thought it was going to be like. But we decided to then add a swipe technique. We then did some balloon dips. So, Sean, you've not only just done an open cup, you've done swiping, you've done balloon dips... You've kind of created some depth and texture and some movement on on a piece. So, I tell you what, I tell you what, I've learned. Proud moment, proud moment. I've learned so much from this, and I'm glad that it didn't turn out the way that I thought. Because the only way you can learn and develop with things is for things not to go to plan, and that's exactly what it's done. So I've actually, I to be honest, before we did this, I was like. Oh, I'd love to do different techniques and then when it came out with the A to Z now I've managed to have a go at four techniques in one so actually that's the reason it's worked out the way it is and everything does work out for a particular reason so I'm pleased and I'm really proud of what's happened so it's it's good it is really good and I think me just saying this I mean I don't do the art but I want to say for people that are learning it it's good to make mistakes it's good for things not to turn out because you learn totally learn and you can turn it over it's it's from what it's turned and out. do you know what so our a to z challenge was iridescent Tick. we used iridescent colors it was earth and i think it, you can definitely see i definitely earth. feel like we've, <laughs> we've almost created like a weather map yeah. of all the all the different kind of maybe weathers that you see around the world there was water water and, and it's definitely water. Definitely got that element of water. Obviously, we use blues to reflect that water. Um, and then, obviously, the open cup, which is the technique that we started with, but the technique that we didn't necessarily finish with. 
and we combine those techniques to make a unique creation and that's one thing guys about fluid art that I kind of bang on to Sean you know off camera the fun that I have with it because it's so versatile and you know there are no rules break those rules there are no rules break those boundaries this is about having fun and just kind of releasing the creativity and I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's dry because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Can I just say one more thing as well? I think what I've learned as well is you have to have an open mind. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, there's so much planning that you can do. There's so much kind of visionary that you can have when you're doing your creation. But sometimes mistakes and the ways that it doesn't work out are the best creations that you can make. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had some I've fun. I've loved it. And I, join us again soon. Are you going to come back and do some more? Without a doubt. Cool. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll show you a dried version. Okay, so here's the dried version. It's proudly hanging up in our bedroom. But let me um, just go in just so you can see the detail. And what I love is all those different colour combinations and all those techniques have all come into one to make this unique piece. We did say when you step back, you can almost see, or our interpretation is the waterfall just here, hitting the water down here, making those splashes. So that's kind of our interpretation of this piece. And we'd love to know what you think. all those colors and i know sean's just as proud of this as i am and actually the main thing is that we worked together on this and had so much fun and i need to watch myself sean's enjoying this so much that you know he might do a bit more painting as well so watch this space but for now i hope you've enjoyed watching us and i hope you've enjoyed seeing us create our own piece together thank you so much for your support and guys please let us know what you think Take care. Bye.